Alright everybody, welcome back to part 2 here in our Road to Legendary series on phone. So once again, we're back here on the Z Fold 5. You guys already know we'll be doing the entire series on this and I've got to address the comments because I read them. I saw all of you guys in the comments saying, that's not a phone, that's a mini tablet. Listen man, I said we were doing Road to Legendary on phone. This is the phone that I use on the daily so, you know, you know it's not my fault that it turns into a mini tablet when you unfold it. Regardless of that, you guys were super supportive in the comment section and the, the video performance performed really well so i appreciate you guys and i hope everyone's looking forward to the rest of the series as we make our road to legendary currently here in episode two we're gonna be starting where we left off in the last one at the pro four rank and i'm hoping that in today's episode we're gonna go ahead and make our way to master one currently we're starting off at a 10 and a half kd that's most likely gonna drop today it's just gonna be natural as we progress in the ranks now since our last episode i did a little bit of grinding offline where i just went into public match games and headshot a bunch of bots because you need to get 30 headshots on a brand new account to unlock a lot of SMGs for free. So we have a lot of different options between the Striker 45, OTS 9, Lapis, Switchblade especially. Just a whole bunch of weapons that are really good in the current meta and I think we're going to go ahead and throw on the Switchblade just because, you know, I talked about the PDW being the best versatile SMG in the game. The Switchblade is the best close range SMG in the game. Now I don't think we're going to be able to level this up very much. I only have two XP cards so that'll get us to level two giving us some type of of magazine attachment i'm assuming a fast reload oh it was a rear grip okay so we have the stippled grip tape which i'm not even going to use because i don't think the positives are good enough to sacrifice those negatives so this episode we're basically going to be using a naked switchblade but that still should be a really good weapon to use compared to like what i have available at the moment again when we do these episodes this series is on a brand new account completely free to play what the experience would be for someone who starts call of duty mobile at the time of the season that I'm recording at. I do want to go ahead and take a look at the events and see if there's any like tokens that I can claim. So I'm really just shooting to see if we can get any free credits here, because if I can stack up to another 2000 credits, then I would be able to unlock a new perk from the credit shop. Yeah, it seems like all you could do right now is unlock these seasonal tokens and it's just for skins of weapons I already have. Tell you what, we'll go ahead and redeem the max amount of these crates that I can do, which is three. And then we'll have the first crate opening here, I guess of the the account we actually pulled an epic a flashbang grenade that's sick and a cluster grenade okay two epics so you know that actually is good luck obviously it doesn't have an effect on my account here but that is pretty good luck we have optional class bundles which i didn't realize we had here so what i can do is actually pick one that i already have and it should give me credits 10 i was expecting more than that and let me check the credit shop here so as far as perks the one that i'm saving up for that i would really like to have you guys probably all expect would be quick fix we have 760 credits so we're not quite there oh but i do have a couple more crates here some of them for ranking up but another one for a teammate leaving during a match I might be able to get some credits that way. Probably won't get us like exactly what we need, but if we could get any credits at all, that would be nice. So the consolation prize, I'll take 188 credits if we can get it. Three weapon XP cards, not mad about that. We'll go ahead and use those new XP cards here on the Switchblade, level up to 10, and now we actually have some options when it comes to the attachments. I might be able to get credits if I read these comics. Actually, hold on, we could get a decent amount of credits. 25 more weapon xp cards okay reading comics is actually kind of a hack for new players so we got 250 extra credits which puts us at 1100 and then even more weapon xp cards i don't know if i should actually waste all these we could get the switchblade to level 20 we get the light suppressor at tier 16 and then we get an extended mag at 12 so i think i'm gonna go ahead and upgrade to level 16 and then we'll save the rest of these weapon xp cards for a different weapon later on in the series so we do have a lot of downsides when it comes to the attribute details but they're all such like little amounts when if you look at the positives minus 23 percent on the ads time plus 12 percent on the ads movement speed and then of course we have the extended mag and the suppressor on there i don't hate this i think this is actually going to be pretty decent inside of uh you know the rank that we're at now like this loadout is completely doable first match of the day it is a bot lobby all right so the game put us into a bot lobby which gained us 93 points obviously we won it that puts us in pro 5 here for our next matchup which i would love to do on crossroad strike i just yeah we're not gonna get it and now that we're over our first match of the day here we go with our first real lobby i also changed my hud around a little bit and uh i put my grenades in the top left corner so kind of near my fire button that's something that's completely different from my tablet overlay but i just wanted to experiment around a little bit with that on this device with our phone HUD. All right, that player definitely saw me, so we're gonna go ahead and lay a Semtex down. And yeah, I definitely feel like that's a, a better spot. 
Not a bad Semtex at all. Nobody's over there, except for as soon as I went in the trailer, one of them finally peeked. And enemies took a B off the rip. All right. Wow. Should have warmed up a little bit more before this match. But it does look like we have a nice little double cap going here, as well as map control. I'm just going to wait for this UAV to ping. Looks like there's a player nearby. And a fresh spawn right there on me. Holy. Mobility on this is definitely high. Recoil is a little bit much for my liking, but we're making it work. Looks like spawns are about to reset. Enemies, two of them are on B. I'm assuming those are the two I just killed. And we're just kind of taking over this lobby right now. As expected, once again, we are only in the Pro 5 rank. Let's see if we can go ahead and hit this player on C with the Pred Missile. Then pop up this UAV. There's a guy right here in front of me. By the way, it's worth noting that despite my ping being like 22 and 18, you're going to see it spike a whole lot to the point where I'm almost disconnecting. That's just because my wireless like Wi-Fi connection has been awful lately. So there might be some situations where it looks like I'm just shooting through players. That's the reason why. I have no idea how to fix it. The only like correction I've been able to solve on my devices has been just to directly hardwire them to an ethernet cable. But the setup I have to record my phone gameplay, I don't actually have an ethernet cable available. So fingers crossed our internet kind of hangs in there with us. I noticed that was like especially noticeable in our last upload. I just wanted to uh, at least explain the reasoning why. Got like three players over there at B. All right, let's pop this UAV up. There's a player at C. And honestly, dude, I wish I had the nuke unlocked. These enemies seem so set on just bum rushing to flags that they're not worried about watching any of the crosses or even going for kills. They're just like tunnel visioning onto the objective. I haven't had to use the purifier once. Actually, don't mind bringing it out here and then just pushing. And I wish I had quick fix right now. Should be some enemies nearby here. This basically has been a super one-sided matchup since the beginning. Not seen any players over there. It seems like a couple are finally pushing B and actually might have a Sparrow player. Dude, I don't want to talk about that death. Again, the K9 unit is something that we're seeing a lot at this rank. That's so tragic, dude. Basically, what happened there? was my purifier ran out as soon as I pressed the button for it. We got triple kill. I'm assuming my uh, cluster strike there took out a lot of enemies. Well, the first half wasn't really much of a contest at all. I'm going to go ahead and push in here. I saw that player's laser sight. I just want to be able to try to spray him off of B. If anything, I do have this predator missile. So we'll go ahead and just wait in the corner and hover for a second. If anyone makes an approach, looks like we might get two. Yep, I'll take the double kill. There's a sentry gun right here on me players next to me all around all right we gotta pop this uav i think even if the enemies double cap for the majority of this round we had such a big lead going into this that we should be all right go ahead and pop this pred um yeah that was a waste you didn't see me right cool 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 God, there's so many players there. I'm just going to drop another cluster strike right on that. Hopefully, my teammates can push it. I'm going to make an attempt to rotate to C here. I'm getting hit by a reactor core or Molotov or something. Not exactly sure what that was. There's a player up top. Oh, that was the most accidental double kill of my life. What? Oh, now there's a reactor core on me. Dude, unfortunate. Also, Loki, enemies are making a comeback. I just had to check to make sure we had teammates. I almost feel like I need to swap to an LK so I can help like patrol longer ranges and power positions here. Yeah, I'm going to attempt to do that. I might not have time to swap loadouts. Go ahead and see if we can get this flag cap at A. We're still holding on to C. Barely, but we're holding on. Molotov's going in at B. Going to have enemies all over me. Yeah, there's a lot on me. And there's a guy up top. Dude, we are barely holding on to this lead. We're going to have to double cap at some point here. I'm probably a dead man. I'm going to use this pred and try to protect myself. That guy ran by me at B. Ben, take down the player down low. I'm going down. Enemies are triple capping? Dog. Hold on, hold on. 
We've got to rush B. I do have smokes. Oh my god. Got two coming in here. Brother. They're just putting Molotovs down like crazy. We lost our lead, but we're so close to getting a double cap. Maybe I can defend C. There's going to be an enemy pushing it. All right, that's a big kill. Okay, on the Sparrow player, triple kill. Enemies took A back. No way we're losing the first game here of the video. We're still holding on to, to C, just barely. I'm going to protect it, but there's nothing that matters about that. We ended up losing our first match. We triple capped the majority of the first half. I thought this game was going to be GG's, like, completely. But somehow the enemies just showed up. Oh, you gotta love that. 146 to 150 taking the L there, game one. That's uh, that's officially back-to-back -back in the series as well, because we lost the last game of the first video. It was a game like that, too, where it was just stupid close at the end, despite the first half, our team just dominating. Yeah, regardless, though, uh, we gained 64 points. Still hurts the ego, though, and I'm sad. Wait, so one of our players did leave the game? I don't know how early that happened. That would explain the loss, actually. If one of our teammates went AFK, because I checked, right, and there were five players, what probably happened was that person left. So they were still, like, connected to the match with their AFK, and then they eventually disconnected. I forgot when you lose a game, they put you against bots for the next one. Okay, we're at Pro 5. We're about to be a master just from bots. Also, I just noticed we're level 19, which means we just have one more level, but four, I believe we can start nuking. We've got Crash or Slums. I'm going to go with Slums. Probably not going to get it. Also, I did a full reset on my Wi-Fi, so fingers crossed our uh, our game doesn't lag. Oh, yeah. Internet connection's feeling a little bit better. I know we have a player up top. Okay, apparently one behind me as well. I think I'm going to have to swap to the LK for this map. It just really doesn't make sense to be playing TDM on Crash with the Switchblade. There's just nowhere for me to be, like, rushing constantly. Most of the spawn points are going to be long range by the time I'm uh, encountering them. I'm probably a dead man here. And they got three players. I'm rocking LK and holding down the three stack. How uh, TDM on this map is meant to be played. I think this guy's going to be pushing the corner, right? Also, yeah, our, uh, our ping is a lot better now. Where I just hold the three stack. I hear a lot of players behind me. Nobody's climbing up. I'm assuming they're coming up here. Still more. All right, UAV. Tight game, so also another reason why I wanted to go ahead and play a little bit further back. And TDM, it really doesn't matter how many kills you get. All that matters is that you get a positive KD. You can go two and one for the entire game, and that benefits your squad a lot more than if you went like 10 and 15. You have a Predator missile here. Um, I could probably go ahead and slide that in there. Unfortunately, not getting any kills. Is there going to be a player peeking this window? There is. I made them absolute one hit. So I'm going to just kind of sit here and recharge. This player has a Fennec. Should be a free kill for me. This player's still up top. Go ahead and beam them. And yeah, we're just going to keep camping this three sack. No reason for us to move. Let me spawn down there. We might be able to get him with the cluster. My teammates are dying. We really can't afford a loss here. That'll put us in another AI lobby, and I think mentally I'll be checked. I am going to need to find another gun here, though, because I'm running out of ammo. Hmm. Okay. Yeah, I'm out of ammo. I might be able to push this with a Peary. Somebody nearby. I'm hearing the footsteps. Looks like they're dead. UAV, tell me they start spawning up on me. That'd be great. They're definitely on the other side of the map. Yeah, all of them are. There's an M13 down there I could get. Oh. Another Pred. Somebody, not on the three stack, but I'll take that single kill there. I think that's an opportunity for me to start flanking around. Oh my god, that man had a death machine. Wait, it's still a relatively tight game, actually. Only five kill difference. Does this guy peek? I know he's like right here. Shoot. Oh my god, the one burst. Crazy. There's another guy on me. 
Wait, what just... Uh, okay, I died in the back. That probably benefits the squad, actually, because now I'm going to be able to use the LK again. I don't want to push the three stack at all, but I'm down to take any fights around this angle. I'm going to randomly put a smoke down. Go ahead and take you out with a double jump shot, a little B hop. Maybe another player here. And we should be good to secure the win for the squad. There it is, 50 to 41. Still tightish game, but finally picking up a win here in today's video against real people, by the way. Didn't realize that was a flex in Pro 5 that you're playing real people, but it is. Got Mobile 2023. That should rank us up to Master 1. And I honestly think that's about where my main account is right now since I haven't played much since the reset. I'm gonna vote vacant just because we haven't played that yet this series. And it's also a good map for the Switchblade. I could throw a smoke here. Yeah, I kind of figured that'd be the result. And now I'm going to be weak, and I don't really want to push this gunfight here unless I can get to that position. I saw a player over there. I'm going to just hang out here for a second, slide peek this. And there might be some spawning behind me, but more importantly, probably enemies in front of me. Enemies do have the objective at the moment. As I said, RPD, go ahead and grab that. And we got a swap here. Oh my god. Yeah, definitely our uh, connection is way better now. I can feel a difference. I'm just going to keep hip firing everybody. We do have Predator Missile now. Wait, if I hold the heady here, there's going to be at least two enemies. Yeah, because they're going to be coming out of this next spawn point. I'm still holding down this area. We do have an airstrike. Enemies are going to be at the end of this hallway. Oh, that's unlucky. Wait, it might have worked out. I'm going to sit in the corner here. I mean, I just got turned around on each other. Still should be more at the end of the hallway. There's one. I'm going to go ahead and pop the UAV. And there's another one coming from the first hard point. What is that guy doing? Wait, there's... I'm genuinely so confused by the radar sweeps. I'm going to take down that player. This one might have hopped up or is just flat out rotating. Or AFK and then just turns in the corner with the OTS. I don't I don't know, but as long as we're getting time on the objective, I am chilling. I don't really care about my KD at Paul. Go ahead and drop down that predator missile. And this is where we start making the rotations. Doesn't look like that player's gonna be rotating around. It looks like they're just challenging old. So I'm gonna go ahead and hold down this hallway. Seems like everybody is pushing out now. I didn't know I had shot that guy there. There we go, two dead. I need to reload for a split second here. We're gonna go ahead and pop the cluster strike near the objective hopefully take out some fresh players spawning up teammate might be dead in the back actually we spawn up there oh they have a shield down i was about to say i could probably get in there with the purifier no i killed myself this is not going to be the easiest situation for me to break just because i'm uh, using the switchblade but if we can get control of the spawns then we might be chilling nice teammate taking out that player I'm gonna look up top for a second for anybody while we reload one in the hallway. I'm gonna take them out and then let's whip out the Peary. Right behind the spawn point. There's an enemy. Take him down. UAV. Doesn't look like anybody else is spawning up over here. Nobody in the hallway as well. Got about a quarter of the purifier left. I think they got a player in the back here. Alright, that's a big kill to get. Only problem is they've got so many shields that they're just throwing on the objective. gonna be more they've got the next rotation unlocked dude maybe this uav could be useful tell me they're spawning out i should honestly leave that guy alive i don't mind getting that kill though just gonna drop a nade down over there enemies all out in front of us they're gonna be spawning behind us nope teammates are there as long as i hold this corner i should be good sounds like enemies are right there though Wait, why am I getting shot in the back? Oh, it's that little gate, dude. You're a fire player right there. I got him. I'm still contesting for just a second. Oh my god, that's so big with no quick fix. What is that sound next to me? It is getting louder. Oh, I think my audio is like bugged out right now. There's like this weird echo. I don't know what somebody hit me with, but that thing is crazy. Holy. 
I got the shield down there. I'm going to try to push that into the hallway here with the Peary. Should be a double kill. Oh my god, that guy lived for so long. I don't know if we get him. We do. We got the objective currently. There goes another one. We have full streaks. We might not end up needing them here. Looks like the game is over. If anything, one more player pushes in front. No, we're good. Chaotic game. Taking it home though, 150 to 120. Not gonna lie, I wasn't sure if we'd actually be able to win that one. It did get us over 200 points though, which progressed us nearly halfway of Master 1. We also finally hit level 20, which means two things. One, we now have the ability to use the trial loadouts, which is gonna be a big part in our next episode. But two, that means we should have just unlocked the hidden kill streak the nuke. I think you guys might have heard of that here once or twice on the channel. So I'm super hyped for the next episode. With that being said, that is going to go ahead and do it for this part of the Road to Legendary series. If you guys all did enjoy, hit that like button. Thank you all so much for the support on episode one, and I'll catch you guys all in the next one.